John Owen famously has this quote, be killing sin or sin will be killing you. We've heard this quote a lot lately if you've been coming here. It's really important. The relevance is here. We must know that we live in a world of decay and death, and saved or not, I would argue especially saved, but to all, death is crying, calling out to you, longing to suffocate and capture you. Like a siren, your dead flesh and its selfish pride and its evil desire and its lust long to be satisfied. Do not listen. It's easier to hide these things and keep them to ourselves. We hide lest the sin be brought to light, and then we'd have to deal with the consequences, right? What's worse is that we're more terrified of the consequences and judgment of men, what he or she might think or say, than we are of the consequences and judgment of the almighty, powerful God. Look at verse 6. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming. We may not be under God's wrath. See, that's what he saved us from. But we are to fear him. Not like the world should. I say should because they don't. And yet it's to the world that God's wrath will have it poured out on. We are to fear him. But we're God's children. He loves us. Why should we fear? We read in Hebrews 12, 6 through 8, because God loves us, he disciplines us. And that if he didn't discipline us, then we wouldn't be his children at all. The fear of discipline is a strong motivator for obedience. I'm going to say that again. The fear of discipline is a strong motivator for obedience. So here's your fill in the blank. 